What's up guys, Jamie here from Sick. You know what, do we really need an intro? You're sick of the intros, I bet. Hey guys, it's Jamie here from Snake Hunter TV. Hey, it's Christy here from Snake Hunter TV. What's up guys, what's up guys, what's up guys? You know what we are, you know who we are. If you're here to watch us, you know exactly what we're doing. If you don't, well then look at our other 230, 40, 50,000 videos. All right, so we're here to clean a king snake's enclosure and show you how it's done. Ready? And may I add that this snake's a little feisty. Don't be afraid of your snake. Buddy, what up? Oh, I just wanna let me get him out. Very gorgeous snake. May I add? This is the annual Eastern King Snake. Look at the colors and patterns on this snake. Beautiful. But the snake is known to be hyper. King snakes are a little more aggressive than corn snakes. But he's cool. So first step, you take the snake out of its enclosure. Now it's kind of hard to clean the enclosure while holding the snake, although me and Chris have done it many times. You know, you're sitting there, tossing poo, tossing poo, changing waters. A better way is to put the snake inside of a temporary holding it enclosure. So I guess we'll do that just to show you um, the right way. You don't want to bite me, do you? Nah, you're too pretty. Look at that snake. You're so pretty. Speckles. This is Chris's king snake. Beautiful. Okay, so a holding enclosure means you're gonna wanna put your snake inside of a garbage can. Right here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, seriously. A tub here with a lid. Put your snake in there. And make sure you do not whatsoever get his head stuck. That has happened before. Now he's nice and calm, so we know we can close the lid. Snap, snap, good to go. Time to clean the enclosure. Dump out your water. We use these Rubbermaid little, uh, whatever they are. So what we do is we just toss down here, dirty one. Grab a new one. Before you do that though, you wanna check the enclosure for poop. Skin and pee. So here we got some skin. Now, many of you might want to use gloves, which is fine. I'm just doing one enclosure, so I'm gonna wash my hands and put some hand sanitizer on, so it's all good. And this one's not too bad. So make sure everything's clean. Get rid of all the junk. And as you can see, we kind of throw stuff around because we have a lot of snakes. So when we're doing a huge cleaning, we'll do them all and just clean and some stuff will hit the floor. And then eventually afterwards, we'll just sweep it all up, clean it up, make it like it's new. But uh, yeah, just, just want to make sure it's clean. Go through, make sure the bedding's nice and dry. No wet spots, yes. Uh, uh, oh my God. Another piece of poop. I'm just kidding, ugh. All right. Good to go. So now, the king snake's heat source is over here. So the water you want away from the heat source. So we usually put it in the corner over there. To make it nice and neat and flat. Now king snakes, unlike ball pythons, they don't really need high humidity, so we don't really spray them down. I might a little bit just just to wet the bedding down if I can find the uh, crystal, where's the thing? Oh, over here. <laughs> well, that was an epic fail. Might want to pump it up first. It's just a one gallon sprayer. You can buy it at any Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware. Just wet the bedding down. Good to go, but like I said, for king snakes, corn snakes, most colubrids, you don't need to raise the humidity that high like ball pythons, or um, especially rainbow boas or anything like that. They need high humidity. You need to spray them a few times a week, but once in a while, I'll just spray it down, just because, I don't know. 
second I'm gonna spray you. <laughs> Fix my cannon, come on. Are we good? What do I do, I screw everything out? Oh, no, no, now you're taking the lens off. Oh my God. Okay, that was a bad idea. All right, we're good. Keep in mind, don't do that. Anyways, back to what I was saying was, okay, now we're gonna, some fresh water. Always fresh water. Every time you change your snakes, important. I always fill it about halfway. And for the king snake, we have a little hide here, which butts right up to the heat tape. Now it's time to put the snake back in his enclosure. Let's do this. Let's get one close look at him before we put him back. Well, not that close, come on. <laughs> well, what are you doing? So now he gets to go back into a nice clean enclosure. It wasn't too bad, but still. Hey, you can't go this way, bud. Go that way. Go on. Hey, you gotta go the other way. So pretty much, guys, it's pretty easy if you're keeping snakes as pets. Clean bedding, fresh water, and the right heat and or humidity. That's all there is to it and a lots of handling because you know you love to handle these beautiful creatures. Look at this one. This is Spike, fan favorite. And we hope to see babies this year. Hey buddy. See you guys next time. Chris is on next.